Welcome to Big E's Bricks. Today I've got a brand new set to unbox and review. This is set 75324 Dark Trooper Attack. It was released on March 1st, 2022, and that is here in the U.S. It has 166 pieces and an original retail price of $29.99. Take a look at the box here. Got your three Dark Troopers and Luke Skywalker in the hallway fight scene from the end of The Mandalorian Season 2. Got, of course, The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda or... Grogu, the proper name, although still debating whether or not I like the name Grogu. Eh, I don't know, what do you think in the comments? Do you accept Grogu as the name of the child, or do you still say Baby Yoda? Or should it have been named something else? Let me know in the comments, see what you think. Got the back here, it shows off a couple of the nice play features on the set. And we'll check those out once we have it built. Got two bags here. Sticker sheet. Now has some does have nice detailing. You can see with the stickers applied. $30 set. I wouldn't really expect any printed pieces, so stickers is alright. All right, I'll get this thing built, and we'll check it out. Now we've got the finished model built. We'll take a look at the minifigures first. First of all, we have Luke Skywalker as the Jedi Knight with his black robes, as we first saw in Return of the Jedi. He's got his lightsaber, of course. Black hand, robot hand. He's got nice front printing on his torso, as well as his legs. And even a back printing, although he'll most likely always be a bit wearing his robe. That's a nice touch, though. I'm glad that LEGO often include black back printings, even when the character does have a cape. And we have the Dark Troopers. Oh, and to mention, Luke does have a double-sided head, although it is very, very slight. You have slight frown. And very slight smirk. Next we have the three dark troopers. Now I've gone back and forth on their blasters specifically. I, I do really like the look of this. I've seen Lego do this before. You have this small blaster piece with black binoculars. They've also done it in dark gray I believe as well. I've looked on the show. I've watched the scenes multiple times and I think that they could have perhaps used regular blasters to look a little bit more accurate but they don't really have something that they make, currently make that would reflect what we see in the show. It seems to me that perhaps this, if it had a scope on the top, would look a bit more accurate with what we saw in the show. But I do really like these blasters. I think it kind of makes the Dark Troopers stand out a little bit. And big guns, big robots look a little bit more intimidating. So I am, after going back and forth a bit, I am happy with these brick-built two-piece blasters. So we've got their helmets, which actually do not have the red eyes on the helmet at all. There's no printing for that. It's just eye slots. And the printing is on the head. And the Dark Troopers even have printing on the back of the head, which is completely unnecessary, as you'll probably have them wearing a helmet the whole time. But it does look really neat. Like, even if the helmet comes off, it, it still looks like a cool robot figure. I really do like the red eyes behind the slit of the helmet. Reminds me of the original Phase 2 Clone Troopers, as well as the original Phase 3 Clone Troopers. I always liked the eye, the visor slit. I liked how it was actually the head, and there was a cutaway in the helmet, and having a black head beneath, or in this case, their red eye printing. I thought it gives a lot more depth to the helmet. Looks really good in my opinion. 
All right, that's the minifigures. Oh, can't forget one of the big standouts on them is this relatively new breastplate armor piece, which adds a lot of bulk to them. Looks great. I uh, hope LEGO continues to use this piece where applicable. It's a nice piece to have in your minifig parts reserve. It's very versatile. It's got two studs on the back as well. So you could add back attachments when you're making your own minifigures. Now we have the set, which has a surprising amount of play features packed into such a small package. Now being only 166 pieces, it's, it's a $30 set, but it does have four and three, of course, extremely desirable minifigures, desirable to have in multiples, and Luke Skywalker, which is a really nice figure as well. We have, of course, we'll start out with the elevator here from the fight scene in the Mandalorian season two. We can put Luke back here and rotate it around. If I can get him in there. Now it can be a little troublesome to have him hold his lightsaber and rotate the elevator. Let me see if I can find a way to do it. Huh. I don't know if I can. Plus my helmet's fogging up a little bit, which hinders my vision, but uh, I'm making it work. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be the best way to get Luke to show up in the elevator. You have to remove his lightsaber blade, so he has his lightsaber retracted. And then you can easily spin him around without the lightsaber getting caught on things. One gripe I have with the elevator, if it would have had any printed piece in this set, I would have liked it to be these elevator pieces. I can be a little nitpicky with my sticker placement, so to me, those, these are two pieces here at the back of the elevator, keep in mind. Putting those stickers on, was a bit bothersome to me getting them lined up just so. So if any printed piece would have been in the set, I would have liked to see it be the back of the elevator. There we have that nice play feature. Next we have this little stand here for Luke. It's got this little slider on the side here. So you can have him slash his lightsaber, or perhaps do a force push. It's very simple, but it really adds a lot to the set. Now this set being half open leaves a little to be desired, but at the price point and cost, it's all right. And at least the play features here give you something on this side of the set. So over here you have the walls and the hallway, and if these play features weren't here, it'd just be a platform with nothing. But with the play features, at least there's something going on on what would be a very big empty space. And lastly, as far as play features are concerned, we have this slider here. As I said before, you know you can have Luke on here. You can slash out his lightsaber. And get a guy lined up right there we go you have him slash out his lightsaber and then you have a dark trooper over here you can have him be force pushed force push him or force pull him works really well it's very simple but it, i think it really adds a lot to the set you can fill up your hallway, have all your troopers come in for the attack. Now the stickers over here, they do look really nice. It would have been very bare without them, especially the light strips on these 
fillers here, but the other stickers add nice texture as well. And that's about it. Now this set, well, I'm sure Lego had the idea when they were making it, thinking that people would want to buy multiples, and many people have, myself included. So that's all for this main set for now. But I'm going to be working on, I've got a second one, because of course I had to get at least two. But I try, I'm going to try to do a little build where I do on a budget, just two sets, add on the second set, and make a little bit more of a full scene with a full hallway. So that will be coming up. Keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. You can click this here, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for me. Leave me comments. I appreciate any feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see. And until next time, I'll see you. Thanks again for watching.